This is a book reading podcast channel. Today the book I'll talk about is A Holiday by Gaslight, written by by Mimi Matthews. Although it was only a short story, this one was written in the style of a full-length novel. Due to the fact that both the plot and the characters were unique, I did not find myself getting lost at any point. Now, Sophie and Ned are two of the characters that I enjoy reading about the most. What a mountain of misery. I could imagine myself reading this every year leading up to Christmas in order to get into the holiday spirit and feel all warm and fuzzy inside. If it means that her family will have a better chance of survival. Sophie Apperset is willing to marry outside of her social level. However, Mr. Edward Sharp, who exudes an air of mysterious allure, is not your typical businessman in London. He is glum and keeps to himself. A man who does not appear to feel very much, or possibly anything at all. After dating for a total of two months, she has decided that she is ready to call it quits. However, Sophie is finding that it is more difficult to end their relationship than she had anticipated it would be. Her mother and father are really upset. Then there is Charles Darwin, Prince Albert. And that gaslight that is annoying. What more is there for a girl to do besides extend an invitation to Mr. Sharp to spend Christmas with her at Apperset House and give him one more opportunity to win her heart? However, there will be none of the phony pomp and circumstance this time around. They will, at last, learn the truth about one another and their genuine selves. A fantastic piece of flash fiction. This tale, which has echoes of one of my favorite classics, North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell, is about two people who find out what they have in common and how their values are the same. The story has echoes of North and South because it is about two people who discover what they have in common and how their values are the same. The Victorian era was known for its stringent regulations, which lend an air of romance just due to their existence. This Christmas romance is not to be missed because to Ms. Matthews' ability to create a scenario as vividly as if she were writing prose, as well as her character's refreshing honesty. The novella is pleasant, wonderful, and precisely what you require in order to get into the mood of the holiday. The sense of romance develops gradually, and the Victorian manner of living is there throughout. When discussing new ideas and the passing of Prince Albert, there are signs of the times that we are living in. This is a book that deserves more than five stars, and if you're looking for a way to unwind during the hectic holiday season, I strongly suggest picking it up.